Welcome back to Remnant from the Ashes. Uh, we were... I'm exploring this because I'm hoping this is the right one. But we're looking for a specific dungeon. As we make our way towards the world boss. The nice thing about the spore pods is if you get them to blow up near the enemies, they take its equal opportunity offenders. I saw purple. Oh dear. What do we have here? Another Tome of Knowledge. Okay, um... We're gonna do range damage reduction. Eh... Now we'll do this. Also, I need to move my ass, because there's... Also, something that they added post-launch, it was in the first or second patch, is the ability to um, reload while dodging, which is amazing, because at some points there were, um, there were fights where you could not reload because you were too busy trying to dodge. Alright, let's break some stuff. Hello. Not particularly bright, are they? And you're, and if you're sitting there thinking, uh, you know, you don't need to go through there, you've already gotten past it. The game actually incentivizes you to explore areas you may, may not need to go into, because in some places there's like keys or, again, crate books. So, just because you've cleared the map doesn't mean you couldn't go through areas you kind of don't need to. Case in point. I know there's a couple of these that are, like, quest-specific, so I'm not going to miss any of them. At least try not to. Alright, what do we got? hear the spore pod just breathing out there. Kind of gross. And it really is kind of a, you can only, kind of like, you only can hope that he's not right around the corner. That's all you got! It's I don't like that. That's... Damn it. That's a simulacra. That's what we need. I know, in the last video I said you, there's only one her world and you get them from bosses, that's not true. You have to find them in a dungeon. Uh oh. Who's next? The game isn't shy about spawning guys behind you, so you do need to you're, if you're not sure where a noise is coming from, check behind. Now. 
I don't think this is the dungeon I want. It doesn't mean it's not a good dungeon. Right? We're not we're not gonna get rewards out of it. We're not gonna get a decent challenge. It just means that I'm gonna have to re-roll another dungeon and hope I get it next time. And some people say, you know, I don't like that. That's fine. You don't have to play it. If you like to know where everything is, look it up in a guide or by memory, that's fantastic. And you wanna you wanna have the opportunity to do everything all at the same time without having to do any kind of complicated rerolling or anything like that. It's not that complicated. I'm gonna show you how to do it. But you get my point. It's fine. You don't this game isn't for you. There's nothing wrong with that. Got a trait point. Alright. Stay down! The only problem, I mean. I know why they did it, but the game doesn't pause when you open the menu, and that's kind of irritating because sometimes I just have to go to the bathroom. No, I gotta wait for a checkpoint before I can take a leak. Um, or spend a trade point. It's just, it's just a little nitpick that they held over from the nitpicky feature that I feel that was unnecessary for the holdover from Dark Souls. However, because of the multiplayer feature, I understand why they implemented it. I just think they could have also gone with a, if I'm playing this single player, let me pause the game. King of Evasion. Moderately increases the evade window and increases evade speed by 10%. Stick and move, kid. If you don't hit him, it's because they hit you, and a dead scrapper is no good to anybody. I'm going to keep what I have for now. That sage stone really is worth it, but if we can find the uh, ring of Pollux, uh, then we'll be in really good position uh, when it comes to fighting the bosses, <laughs> or just in general. Uh, nope. This is not the dungeon I wanted, but that's fine. I'll just have to go roll another one. But there is always a, a boss, so that's nothing wrong with that. Uh, always smash the wood. Ooh, forged iron. That's our next upgrade requirement. It's our next upgrade material. Oh. Crap. So, this is the boss. Um, I don't want to do this right now. I'm going to pause, run backwards through that dungeon we just left, if it'll let me, and um, go the other direction the way we didn't go. If I can. Uh, if I can't, then I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, I was half right. This is the boss battle I've been expecting. Yeah. Alright, this is going to be interesting, because this is hard. And you'll see why in a second. This guy gets...
would be really good is if we had the other submachine gun in this game, because the other submachine gun actually shoots fire. And burning units does extra damage because they're made of wood. They take extra damage from fire. after he gets bigger, he does double his damage. And that. He also seems to get faster. also drops something different if you set him on fire. Um, so anyway, we got the hollow seed, which is a material. So we've got regular iron, forged iron, rare resource, reinforced basic weapons, level 6 to 10. And boss weapons, 4 to 5. Strong and durable, hard to believe this stuff once had mills churning. Mills just churning this stuff. Hollow seed. Buzzing and humming like it's a beehive, whatever's inside once had bad. It's a weapon mod resource. All right. Um, we could have set him on fire with those, but I didn't see the opportunity to do it. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Either way, uh, we got one. We're all, we can always get another one. I guarantee you're probably going to run into him again when you reroll just to do another dungeon. But now it's time for us to get out of here. Oh no, that went pretty well. Okay, I don't think I took any damage at all. All right. Ooh. Most of the time when you complete a boss battle, one of these loot boxes will be sitting somewhere. You just have to keep an eye out for it. There's a few exceptions, but most of the time there's at least one. All right, where are we? Okay, we're where I was hoping we'd be. Find the Keeper of the Labyrinth. Right, find the Keeper till we beat the world boss. However, we did just find the entrance to the hub for this particular section. I'm going to head back to the ward to uh, upgrade the uh, the Dragonheart, because now we have a Simulacrum, and get the, make the, um, the weapon mod that we got from the, the Mauler. Summons Root Hollow. I think Root Ball is a better name, yeah. but whatever. Now go. And I'm gonna thank you, I know how this works. I'm gonna swap this out. For that one. Unfortunately you can't upgrade the mods. But one nice thing about this is it stores um this one as you gain the charges for it. Returns. Nice. To fare at all is well, child. Um, this 
mod gains charges as you do damage to the creatures. So you can hold, you don't have to expend them all at once. There's another version, something similar to this that I'm really looking for. Okay, where do we need to go? I think the non uh, advancement area is actually over here. So it looks like it dead ends. No, it doesn't. That's our world boss. Okay, so we actually need to go back this way and down here. You can't see my mouse. Bottom of the map. Pass the checkpoint. Keep forgetting that the, the mouse doesn't actually show up on OBS. Um, excuse me. Mm. Little coughing fit there. Um, like most randomized tile sets for games, sometimes you'll get a tile set that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like a convenience store in a back room. But for the most part, it fits. More or less. Just is there? A, oh, there's a top one. There's a lot of stuff up here. If you play reasonably well and you don't die too much, you can end up with quite a bit of scrap just floating around, not taking up or just taking up space in your inventory. Uh, the game isn't perfect, but, um, but it's and it may not even be interesting to watch, but it certainly feels right. A lot of a lot of th people forget that sometimes the most important thing about a game is is it what it looks like, or even you know how hard it is, but how it feels to play. I mean, if it's got like unres if it's a fast action RPG. But the controls are unresponsive or imprecise, and that's going to feel like crap to play, and you're not going to want to play it. But it could be the prettiest game out there with the most expensive uh, motion. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Motion capture ever. If it doesn't feel right, it's going to suck, and nobody's going to want to play it. This game feels precise, feels responsive. As it should, because it's technically an action RPG. I mean, by most definitions. Is it a Souls-like? Only technically. There's no real penalty for dying. Less so than even your standard Souls or the Surge or even... Um, Darksiders 3, actually, now that I think about it. And Darksiders 3 is an interesting game. It's what if... Um, you only had you you only really had the whip <laughs> from Dark Souls. Uh it works pretty well. There's some 
good character moments, which is not what you'd expect from a game or from a Souls Lake. Okay, well, we're gonna, we, we pretty much, I really wish there was a way to tell which way is the right way to go. Because the game doesn't really, I, you don't need to know, but the game doesn't give you any clues as to which way is the, uh, out of the maze and which way goes to just the add-on. That's the boss arena. Okay, going back this way. I'm just going to pause the video till we get to the other dungeon. Okay, we've arrived at what they're calling the Gallows. This looks like a boss arena. It's not. And I can't remember if this is the Tale of Two Lists. It's not the chain gun. Right. 
There's two two remaining. Does that mean waves? Guess not. No. Hooray, we won. Now let's claim our prize. Whatever it is. Oh, this thing. Okay. Um, we have enough. We might as well get it all. Oh, it requires luminite crystals. My bad. Uh, let's see if we lucked out and somebody else drops luminite crystals. I doubt it. We need two of them. I don't think we're that lucky. Real quick, check the other rooms. The Illuminate crystals are almost always dropped by elites. That doesn't look like it. Oh well. Okay, looks like I'm not getting the full set. At least not this time. Okay, so uh, back to where we were. And go back. We have to go back through to the boss area. And I'm gonna pause again because you don't. You guys don't need, need to see me run all the way back. All right. All right. Boss fight time. Let's get in there. The Ash Yard. Yep. This is an interesting boss fight. Um. I think I'll go for the standard kill first, because it gets me the weapon I want. Uh, there's a unique kill for each boss. Just like in the search, actually. back and stab the uh, ground with his claws is what's going to get you most. Oh, we also got a new trait. Quick hands gives us a new reload speed. The, um, or a faster reload time. Um, and that gets real useful if you get it near the end. Anyway, so quick hands is the trait you get for defeating the boss. Oh, d doesn't matter which one, that's what you get. But we also got the... Uh, Blazing Heart. Uh, this, it still beats a wafting scalding heat and rotting flesh. A wafting of scalding heat and rotting flesh with each pulsation. And now we just gotta run to the exit. But yeah, you saw his, um, the, that can get real tricky if you're not sure what you're doing. Actually, in most cases, Singe will kill the first 
he'll kill every player the first time he uh, fight him. We'll do the singe fight again because we have to. But for now, we need to find the keeper's tower. What the hell is that? That's the keeper's tower. Ah, uh, sure, destroy more of the local buildings. Thanks, asshole. We get a chat, have a chat with the keeper, and we get a little bit more um, story as to what's going on and why we're here. Cracks in the walls grow every day surrounding me hello human the core is rotten the root corrupts everything why do you distract the keeper i'm looking for a man named ford hmm. insignificant chance of success negligible the guardians are destroyed the devourer lurks unchecked the labyrinth erodes daily and I can behold the tide. On the other hand, your journey is not guaranteed to fail. Very well. Enter and cease. Enter what? Where am I going? The labyrinth holds all doors and infinite possibilities. If the path you require exists, it lies within. I do have some questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is time. What do you mean the Guardians were destroyed? The root threatens every world, so every world is given a protector. Guardians are not easily killed. When one dies, however, the root can claim that world and grow stronger. The loss of several Guardians made way for the Devourer. The Devourer has made the root very strong indeed. Are you a Guardian? I am the Keeper. I would be the last to fall. What happened to Earth's Guardian? This place is both like the worlds and unlike them. It is the core, inviolable, and without need of Guardian. If the world is inviolable, why did the root... How, how did the root get here? I have neither knowledge nor resources to devote to the question. The root could not have come without invitation. What is the Devourer? An agent of the root. Whether witting or unwitting is unknown. And irrelevant. The Devourer was the one who erased even the Labyrinth's Guardian, leaving only myself to hold back on ending rock. Unfortunately, my battle cannot be won with time. What is the Labyrinth? It is the seat of the worlds, built upon the core, and all worlds are built upon it. The Labyrinth contains all doors that ever were, are, or may be. Some are lost, some destroyed, but all are contained within. Uh, thank you this for your help. This is the maximum help I can provide at the moment. All endeavors will fail if I do any more. So that's about all we learned about the Keeper. He's some ethereal being who's holding the multi-dimensional tide of the root who will consume every world if they get earth keeper's blessing how much resistance yep we get an we get another trade all right we're gonna grab the checkpoint and i'm gonna call it a video in the next video we're gonna roll an adventure new adventure in on earth so that i can bounce through some of the other dungeons and if we're lucky get another world boss if not we'll get the other special weapon from sin so I'll see you guys in the next one